Sinatra mania arrived in Los Angeles in August of 1943 when Frank Sinatra disembarked from the Santa Fe chief right here at this very spot on which I'm standing in Pasadena, California. Sinatra might be Hoboken's favorite son, but his long and storied music and film career make him a superhero in Los Angeles. In fact, every establishment he ever frequented in the city of Los Angeles pays homage to his legacy. Sinatra's free-flowing vocal style was influenced by his incessant listening to three women artists, Mabel Mercer, Billie Holiday, and Ella Fitzgerald. But his ability to hold a note longer than anybody else, that was the result of his scientific study of Tommy Dorsey's trombone playing. When Frank Sinatra recorded a song, that song automatically entered the canon. So can you imagine what happened to a song if Frank Sinatra recorded it not once, but five times? The answer is all of me. Please welcome Musique's Leah Zeger and Ira Gonzalez. <laughs> with all 